Hello students, I once again welcome you in this e-learning session. Uh, in my last uh, lecture, uh, I have discussed with you uh, regarding HSC board activity sheet. In that, uh, we have discussed as to what sort of questions are going to come in section one, that is prose section. Uh, then we have also discussed about section two, that is uh, poetry section. Then I have also mentioned the type of questions which will be asked as per the uh, type of questions which uh, that particular section will have. Now next, uh, I will show you through the slide about uh, the writing skill that is the uh, third section of your HEC board activity sheet okay now if you can see here on your screen uh, there are various writing skills which uh, they are going to ask okay now we are moving to section 3 writing skills and the question will be like this complete the activities as per the instructions uh, given below okay now question fourth a that is drafting virtual messages statement of purpose group discussion so out of these three writing skills you have to attempt one okay either you go for virtual message or you go for statement of purpose or uh, group discussion now drafting a virtual message if you go back to your textbook page number 159 that is 3.5 you will learn more details as to how to draft a virtual message and our teacher also have explained how to draft a virtual message now the, in short I will tell you what is the format of drafting or writing a virtual message now their uh, format is like this date time name of the person to whom the message is directed body of the message name of the writers etc so uh, in your uh, question paper they may give you a telephonic conversation that is the dialogue between two persons for example your friend and your father regarding notebook to be brought to school now your father has a discussion with that uh, your friend and then father talks with him for a certain time and father wanted to go back for a morning walk so he drafts a virtual message of, of about 50 words so that way the situation may be and then your father is drafting a message for you so points most important details to be written so when you draft a virtual message in 50 words you have to see that most important details are to be written second point no new information to be added next grammatically correct sentences should be there in your virtual message then your language should be simple no abbreviations that is short forms don't use any abbreviation short forms uh, when you draft or write a virtual message then your language should be simple and be friendly polite then you should avoid pun ambiguity witticism not to confuse or bring that message into a chaotic situation so all these things you should avoid uh, it is given on uh, page number 159 okay then either you go for virtual message or you go for statement of purpose so in my videos if you have watched no, on youtube 
I have given uh, details about as to how to write a statement of purpose. Now, what is statement of purpose? It is a personalized application seeking admission to university and graduate school. Now, writing a SOP has become an inevitable or unavoidable part in the student's life. So if you want to take part, admission in any reputed universities or graduate schools, so you will have to attach SOP, Statement of Purpose, along with your application. Now it is, what is SOP? It is a brief essay. SOP is written in an essay form, maximum in 500 words. Then in your SOP, you describe you as a person, then your goals, plans, etc. Okay. Now example I'm giving here, what sort of question may come in the board paper. For example, you must have decided your aim in life. Which institute, university would you like to join for your diploma graduation? Write a SOP as a part of your application to the institute or university. So such type of question may come in your board paper. So then you can write the SOP according to the topic given in your activity sheet or you can go for group discussions. Now you'll see here there are many options for every question that is A, B, C, D. You'll find there are options. So you have more choice. No? You can choose any of the writing skill from A, B, C, D and you can attempt that. The next is group discussion. Now what is group discussion? It is a formal discussion on the topic. Participants analyze the topic. The topic is given in group discussion. You analyze it. The participants, members, they analyze the topic and give their views and opinions in the written form of the discussion. Now here group discussion normally is in oral form, no? But in, if the question comes of uh, group, group discussion, that is, it should be written uh, in the written form. So in the written form of discussion, you have to write dialogues for at least three to four people. So group discussion question should be written in a dialogue form as if three, four uh, students or members uh, have taken part in the group discussion and uh, it is in the form of a dialogue on the given topic or as given in the instructions. Okay. Now you have to remember that for every writing skill, they will give you points. And with the help of points, you have to attempt that writing skill uh, questions or activities. Now here I'll give you example of a group discussion question. Uh, example is like this, an economically deprived girl student in your class who has received admission in a reputed college abroad needs monetary help to pursue further studies. So such type of question may come, a girl is getting admission in a university abroad or college abroad and she wants some financial help. So have a group discussion with your friends to seek solutions to help her. Then the group discussion starts as to how to help the girl. So what you'll do in an answer you'll write, write uh, five, four to five views in the form of dialogues means a discussion takes place within the members in the form of dialogues. So that dialogue form is to be written in the uh, group discussion question. Then we move on to next one that is question 4b email or report writing or interview. Either one you have to attempt. 
now email can be formal or informal you have to use the correct form format and the email ids language must be appropriate so for emails uh, you can refer to 11 standard textbook that is <clears throat> unit 3.3 that is on page number 105 of your 11 standard textbook okay now the question may be like this this is just for a example write an email in proper format to your friends about your proposed trick you can take help of the points okay now you are supposed to write an email to your friends uh, about your proposed trek trekking you know mountain climbing that is trekking now they may give you points you can take help of the points the points are like this point number one a trek in the forest of Kodai Canal. then second point time and duration third point type of trek that is either you're using cycle or motorbike or you are on foot you are going walking like that so type of trek that will be third point then fourth facilities provided then fifth last date of registration and last point is fee fees okay so such type of points may come for email writing then you know the format last year you have studied as to how to write an email like first you have two means uh, you have to write email IDs of the friends to whom you are sending then subject what is the subject of your email then you write salutations then first paragraph second paragraph final paragraph then your email signature name email ID phone number so there is a proper format for emails that you have to study and then you have to draft a email so you write either go for email or you can go for uh, report writing also. Now in report writing, they may ask you prepare a newspaper report with the help of uh, given points below. For example, they may uh, give you uh, to write a report on the topic auto rickshaw driver on strike. Then they will give you points flash strike second point sudden checks by traffic police third point checks due to passenger complaints rigid meters so such type of points will be given then you know the format of report writing first you write a headline then you write a date then news agency means uh, any name of the newspaper times of india or uh, like that and then you start with the introduction in introduction you answer five questions like what when where how why if you answer such questions then automatically that one paragraph is created then second paragraph is the lead paragraph means you mention details uh, about that incident or event or that topic then one more thing about the report is that report writing is always written in past tense okay and then you conclude your uh, report okay so either you go for uh, email writing or you can go for report writing or interview questions that is question 4 p okay now here you are supposed to frame at least 8 to 10 questions to be asked to a famous personality a cricketer bank manager farmer so so the interview topic may be on the current issues no so what you have to search find out what current issues are there any person who got any extraordinary uh, awards like that or global teacher one uh, you got a primary teacher got a global teacher award no seven crore rupees so you may be asked to take an interview of that person who got that award of uh, global teacher no 
then what sort of questions to be asked so they will give you points initial means personal questions you can ask in the beginning uh, personal questions to that person then next is consent questions then probing questions and closing questions okay so it is very logical when you ask question to a person it should be logical then you should use wh which when why how where such type of questions to be asked then types of questions there are two types of questions open ended direct open ended means whose answers are lengthy and direct questions means whose answers are in one or two lines so whenever you frame questions see that you ask direct questions whose answers are in one or two lines this you should be uh, you should remember then no questions about personal life to be asked don't ask uh, questions which are related to his personal life okay then don't frame a question what is your name if you ask question what is your name to sachin tendulkar so it will be a insert so your question should have weightage means they should be proper and there should be a variety okay so you will need to practice <coughs> these type of interview questions then next is question number 4 c speech or you can go for comparing or expansion of ideas speech you know the like they may uh, give you a question like this uh, imagine your college is organizing a speech competition on the topic disappearing of words so you have to prepare a speech on of about 100 to 150 words okay so the topic is disappearing of words then they will give you point role of words causes behind their disappearance ways to call them back add your ideas so speech you know first you enter you have introduction that is the format introduction body and you conclude the speech okay so it should have beginning middle and ending okay so either you go for speech writing or comparing now for comparing you can refer to uh, your textbook of 11th standard on page number 122 that is 3.6 so you'll get detail about as to how to compare no now you have to imagine okay comparing means the question may come like this you have to imagine that you are actually comparing for the given function and write a script in 100 to 150 words accordingly okay example i am giving example of comparing imagine that you are a compare of <coughs> excuse me imagine that you are a compare of independence day function in your college write a script in 100 to 150 words with the help of given points now i have told you that for every writing skill they will give you points okay 
Now here you have to imagine that there is an Independence Day program, and you are the compare. In Marathi we call it Sutra Sanchalan. Now points will be given. See, introduction. So you have to write according to the steps. No, the first introduction, brief introduction of the program function. Second, flag hoisting. Third, national anthem pledge. Fourth, principal speech. Fifth, songs. And last point, vote of thanks. So according to that, you have to compare. Okay, you have to write a comparing or script. We can say okay. In schools, you might have. Uh, taken part as a compare or you might have listened no so there are certain steps okay it begins with introduction and ends with word of thanks so this will you'll have to practice more <clears throat> okay then next is expansion of idea that also you can Study means you have to expand the idea into <clears throat> 100 to 150 words. Uh, they will give you topic. Okay. Then you expand that idea into 100 and or 150 words. So any topic they will give you, and you have to expand it. So that also we have studied in your um, 11 standard. Then D is Film review, like uh, film review <clears throat> means what? It is a critical appraisal of a film. Now, if you go back to your <clears throat> 11 standard textbook, uh, that is on page number 117, 3.5, you'll get as to how to write a film review. Now, you have to analyze a film. Writing film review means you have to analyze a film. And uh, then its components, analyze the film and its components. You also have to provide some basic information about the film as per the given points. <clears throat> now question may be like this, write a review of a film you have recently seen based on any four of the following points any film may be <coughs> english or hindi or marathi then they will give you points first point names of the characters main characters as well as supporting roles then second about the story theme of the film the second point you will have to write theme of the film or the story of the film in short then third special features novelties novel ideas what newness was there in that film you have to mention it okay novelties or novel ideas or special features then fourth music dance songs action direction then fifth why you like or not like the film and last, should others watch this film, would you recommend it to your friends? Why? So such type of points will be there. <clears throat> then you have to write a review of the film which you have watched or you can write a review of a book. We can also write a review of a particular book. So points will be given to you. You have to write a review <clears throat> then for review we have an option either you go for review or you go for blog writing okay now see blog writing uh, topic and points will be given again blog writing if you go to your 11 standard textbook you'll have uh, page number 101 3.2 so you have to use the points and write a blog in 100 to 150 words using the blog format. 
ओके राइट अ ब्लॉग क्वेश्चन में भी लाइक दिस राइट अ ब्लॉग इन प्रॉपर फॉर्मैट ऑन द मीनिंग ऑफ लिटरिंग इन हंड्रेड टू वन फिफ्टी वर्ड्स सो द टॉपिक इज मीनिंग ऑफ लिटरिंग मीनिंग मीन्स डेंजर और थ्रेट of littering littering means garbage or rubbish so with the help of the given points points will be given like first point dirty surroundings second laziness of public and third solutions so you have to write a blog on the given topic uh, with the help of the uh, points given <coughs> then next is appeal other you write review or blog or appeal okay so appeal you know you might have written this appeal when you are in schools no it is just like an advertisement about to tell people <coughs> to donate blood or eye donation okay so i will just give you an example of appeal horrible flood situation in kerala state suffered huge loss your organization has arranged a rally to raise funds to help the flood affected people in kerala prepare an appeal for the people to contribute to the funds with the help of the following points so flood situation in kerala <coughs> took place so we want to encourage people public to help the flood affected uh, people then they will uh, a rally is arranged a rally is arranged then they will give you points there first point is purpose of the rally time place of the rally leading personalities request for donation add your own points so points will be given you have to prepare an appeal appeal is just like an um, <clears throat> advertise means it is written in uh, minimum words very few words are used okay just to attract the public or to appeal them to help the people okay so there are various uh, options are there choices are there on in uh, section 3 that is writing skills so you practice them and you are supposed to attempt any one of those uh, given writing skills okay then we move on to next that is the uh, section 4 that is novel now here you will not get any uh, points okay these novels are to be read minutely carefully okay so see it carries 16 marks okay now that is question 5a <coughs> complete the activities given below now see first one activities on history of novel that is the first lesson in section 4 so <coughs> activities will come on history of novel that is each carries two marks two activities two marks each then what type of questions will come mcq match the column fill in the blanks chronological order true or false okay it is based on 4.1 so objective type questions will come on 4.1 that is true or false match the following uh, multiple choice questions fill in the blanks like that okay <coughs> then question 5b answer in about 50 words questions to be framed on elements such as plot structure theme setting language character based on 4.2 the lesson is to serve with love now see what sort of questions will come describe explain compare contrast name discuss okay that carries two marks any one of that 
the next illustrate interpret narrate justify okay such type of questions will uh, come okay you can see there question 5b for example plot now see what plot means what plot means course of events incidents uh, in the story that make up the theme now for example a question may be like this you can practice no describe the half yearly report program of students council okay in plot if they they may ask you a plot type of question describe the half yearly report program of students council okay then <clears throat> next character what sort of question may come on character describe various roles played by characters in the novel like the characters <clears throat> sketch of denham write a character sketch of denham or miss philips or the narrator such type of questions will come in the character section then theme what is theme theme is nothing but central idea of the <coughs> poem okay so question may come like this narrate the student teacher relationship highlighted in the extract narrate the student teacher relationship highlighted in the extract then setting now i am talking about 4.2 that is to serve with love setting means the place period time climate or weather lifestyle background in which the story takes place now the question may be like this describe the place and atmosphere where half yearly report program of students council took place <clears throat> then fifth language language means the language style techniques used by the author for the narration of events in the novel so question may be like this describe the language used by miss philip to convince denham in the question answer session okay so such type of questions may come you can practice them then question 5c again answer in about 50 words so that will be based on 4.3 that is around the world in 80 days no that is plot a uh, plot type of question may be like this narrate the major events that took place in the life of phileas fogg from his imprisonment to winning the wager then character the uh, you may be asked to write character sketch of phileas fogg order fix passport out then question based on theme may be like this justify the statement his object means fox huh? his object however to be victorious and not to win the uh, money you have to justify that line or statement then setting describe the atmosphere at the reform club before and after the arrival of phileas fogg so this type of question may be in the setting okay then language we know that phileas fogg is a polite and humble person in the extract describe the language used by fogg where he is polite humble modest in his attitude and behavior towards others so such type of questions may come you have to practice them that is you have to write them in about 50 words because each question carries two marks and then we move on to <clears throat> next section that is last section that is question 5d <clears throat> again you have to write in 50 words based on 
4.4 that is sine of 4 <coughs> last novel no sine of 4 plot narrate in your words the visit of miss Mostyn at Sherlock Holmes place so such type of question may come in plot character write character sketch of miss Mostyn Sherlock Holmes Dr. Watson then theme write the central idea of the novel the sign of four that is related to theme then setting the extract gives information about various places describe in short the importance of at least two places mentioned in the extract and then last is the language compare the language used by the three major characters in the extract so such type of questions uh, may come in the fourth section that is novel but see that you read those novels carefully because this question this section is memorizing one you will not get points there so you have to read the novels carefully you have to memorize what is plot, structure, character, theme, setting. So on that basis, on those elements, questions are going to uh, come. So this way we have uh, discussed about the uh, format of SSC board English activity uh, sheet. So hope uh, you have understood any queries you can ask me on our WhatsApp group. Thank you very much for uh, listening. Thank you.